I'll say this. When I was a little boy, my grandfather taught me a lot of, you know, he, he, he knew the poetry. And one of the things he used to say would, would be, Ben an malut in glaut manekt, and ben er auk di varheit sprekt. Once a man tells a lie, then once he tells the truth, you're going to always wonder, is he lying to me? And another one they used to say was, einem geschenktem gal zeit my nicked in smile. Somebody gave you a free horse, why would you want to look in his mouth? The Saxons are, they're an ancient people. They were a people, I'll tell you, when I was in Kronstadt, uh, there were there was a church there that if you lived there in this in the 1200s that church was burned down three times and when you're there now it's been rebuilt when you're there they had a places where the men would sharpen their swords to protect the women against the the Muslim hordes you know what I'm saying yes and so they fought they fought those people for many many years and uh, they were proud people but a beaten people you know what I'm saying and a lot of the people a lot of these women here you know Many of them are deceased now. Okay, a lot of these women. If you lived in Siebenbergen when the Russians were coming, if you left too early, Hitler would have you shot. If you stayed too late, the Russians would rape you. There were women here. I don't know if there's any here today, but there there were women that were raped a hundred times by Russian soldiers. There's a man here today that was in the German army, and they were captured by communist partisans in Yugoslavia. They were told to take all their stuff and to put it in a fire. He tried to hide a picture of his mother. And a Russian, a communist woman came over and said, what are you doing? He, he took the picture and said, my mother. They said, you won't need that, where are you going? He threw it in the fire, they lined him up, counted off by fours, and every fourth man had their head cut off. So I mean, this is a culture, a lot of these people here, when they, when they fled, they got in wagons, and just fled to Germany, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's a culture that, like I said before, when you lose two world wars and, and, and 50 years of communism, you're done. You're done, you know what I'm saying? So they came here, they're hardworking people, you can see that even today. They work hard, they play hard, and they all made, they, a lot of them were uh, uh, tool makers. And they would, they would, a lot of these Germans, when they came here, they, 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 they knew tailoring. And so when they came here, they wanted to start their own tailoring shop. And everybody would say to them, you can't make any money being a tailor. And so they all went to work for Joseph and Feist. You know what I'm saying? But they're very hardworking people. Very, they are proud people, you know what I'm saying? They're proud people. Sounds like and, they have reason to and, be. And God, a God-fearing people, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they're praying people, church-going people. <laughs> and uh, like I say, my dad was not, it was funny because my dad was, he, he had asthma and didn't go to war, and he was real handsome. So all the Saxon women wanted to get a piece of him, and he told the girls, I will never marry a Saxon, he ended up marrying a Scotsman, you know, and they were all mad at him because of that, you know what I'm saying?